Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Chefito to No Ocho, and I got the brand new GeForce GTX 1650 card that I got on New Egg along with the computer toolkit and the DVI VGA adapter. So, I'm gonna go ahead and install a graphics card on my computer right here. You know, but first I have to make sure that I install the drivers on my computer and I also have to you know, be sure to unplug everything from the back of the computer and turning off the PSU before doing this so just want to give you guys a head start um, I also want to let you all know this is going to be my very first upgrade to a graphics card so if I'm planning on switching like an AMD from an NVIDIA, then uh, that's going to be uh, another video that I might probably do in the future uh, someday, but not right now, because, you know, I just don't want to do it. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my computer, and I'm going to, you know, install the drivers on my computer, and be sure to, um, Replace my current graphics card, which is a GeForce a GT710, and uninstall the drivers manually on safe mode. Alright, see you there. Okay, so right now I'm about to go ahead and we're gonna enter safe mode. This should display a few bit of the options. Or rather, F1, F2, F3. So as you can see, um, for the sake of this video, we're going to do a safe mode with networking. F5. So it should boot on Windows 10 with safe mode, including networking. And to be honest, you can also do this without networking, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to do it with networking, so that way we can connect to the internet and be sure to you know, download the drivers. If not, then that's just fine, as long as it's on safe mode. Okay, so my computer is now running on safe mode, so I'm going to go ahead and type in device manager okay all right so we're on device manager so I'm gonna click on display adapters click on the current graphics card I'm using right click and I am going to uninstall device a little warning should pop up and say, Warning, you are about to uninstall this device for your system. And uh, you want to click this check mark here to make sure you're deleting the driver software for this device. Since we're replacing this old GPU for a new one. And then click uninstall. You should uninstall the devices. Alright, as you can see here, it's removed. So... All we need to do now is turn off my computer and um, it should exit safe mode. And now we shut it down. And we do not turn on the PC just yet. Now we have to install the graphics card manually from the computer. Okay, so. Now that I've removed all of my PC peripherals uh, and the components and removed uh, the PSU supply and turned it off completely, and now it's time for us to swap the old graphics card to a newer one. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of the antennas. I also should have done that. And I 
so that way I don't break the antennas. Okay. And I'm going to lay the PC flat down nice and carefully. Just like that. And I want to um, be sure I touch a um, metal so that way I do not uh, get static shock from this. And so if you have like um, like polyester on you, make sure you remove polyester clothing and be sure to like put on jeans or any other like leathery like clothes before doing this. Because it could create static shock and then it will make your GPU busted. Alright. All we gotta do now is <clears throat> remove on the glass panel. Alright, so as you can see, um, these two screws here, these are four to four point five um, um, millimeter uh, flathead screws. So I use uh, the flathead screws on the iFixit kit. I'm sorry, I couldn't be able to read um, with the unit. So yes, it's a millimeter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want to move this. Oh, this. I don't want to break this. I think I'm going to put it right here and now it's time to remove the panel. Just very carefully remove this panel. Okay. And I don't want to end up breaking this. My hands are like so sweaty right now. Okay, that's one. It's two. And that's three. <clears throat> Let me move this a little closer. Alright, we got the flat panel open. Okay, so this is what the inside of the PC looks like. And if we can bring the camera a little closer to the inner parts. As you can see, that is the motherboard. And this right here is the Gigabyte Alright, and GT710, which we are going to be replacing with the GTX 1650 by MSI. Alright, and that 8 big stick of RAM. Um, in the future, I'm going to upgrade that, but not right now. And the only thing we're going to be focusing on is this. So, first thing you want to do is... <clears throat> And uh, on <clears throat> screw this. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna unscrew this. <clears throat> it's screwed in tightly. So that way it should open the little bracket. All right, and I think there is a, a little lock in the PCI. I'm gonna open this. All right, and we are going to remove this. Okay, it's out. 
So as you can see, I got this graphics card removed. All right, now it's time to plug in the new one. Okay, now it's time to <clears throat> get the new graphics card out of the box. <clears throat> Alright, here's the uh, quick starter guide and the pack instructions. And here's the rewards thingy. And <clears throat> with sweet pride and delicacy, here is the brand new card. <clears throat> And um, I'm going to unpackage this tape. <clears throat> this tape. All right. Okay, and here it is. Let's carefully get this card out. And here we go. Behold, the MSI GeForce GTX 16 Ventus OC with 4 gigabyte. And as you can see, it has no pin connector. And it's very easy to install. All you need to do is just remove the um, PCIe bus cover slot. Like so. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and put this on the computer. Okay, so I got the, um, the IO Shield. And the hubcaps removed priorly, so now it's time to put this in, and we're going to screw this back in. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> on both sides, and we want to make sure <clears throat> it goes in correctly. And once it does, <clears throat> we are going to screw it back in. So. I should do this very carefully. <clears throat> okay. Okay. One, two. Okay. There. <clears throat> All right. Now what we'll have to do is make sure <clears throat> this screw comes back on. And as you can see, the PCI bus slot is locked in correctly. Now we take this screw here. Uh, let me put it back. The screw here. And we are going to <clears throat> close this. Alright, so we're almost done. We just gotta do a last few bit of things. We're gonna take um, the side panel of screws and place the screws uh, back onto the, um, the machine. And uh, I'm gonna be sure to connect all the cables uh, back on and we're gonna test it out. Okay, but first, let's take a look on the inside with the flash. See? Big difference. Oh, there's the display port, the DVI port, and the HDMI port. I'm going to be using the, um, uh, the, I'm sorry, DVI to VGA adapter for my monitor. And a huge difference is that my GT10 is no, I mean, 710 is no longer there. 
and the GTX 1650 is successfully plugged in and screwed in. I just want to say um, I apologize if I um, messed up a few times, but you know, um, practice makes perfect. You know what they say. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, plug everything else in. Okay, everyone. So we're gonna turn down our PC for the very first time ever with a new graphics card in three, two. One. Wait, I think I just saw that Ass Rock logo. <clears throat> I did. I just did. <laughs> Alright, so let me go ahead and sign in right now and we're gonna install the new drivers. Okay, so <clears throat> the drivers and the um, GeForce experience has finished installing. Um, I'm gonna uncheck these. Actually, yeah, and we're gonna hit close and we're done. Anyway, we've reached to the end of the video, so. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be sure to do more videos like this in the future. And uh, please go subscribe to Jason Plays, my gaming channel, and I have two other channels. My old reaction channel and my Twitch video on demand channel. Go check them out. And I'll see you guys again next time. See ya.